Courtney in front of the camera. She's in the office, and she really has an interesting story that actually involves her husband, her late husband. And so, so that was kind of inspiration in writing the book, Agnes? Yes. So, so what happened? 20 years ago, he was diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor. Wow. And the world was shifted sideways. And trying to reorient in the wake of that mm -hmm. and figuring out how to move forward. The doctors and nurses deal with the medical stuff, but how do you deal with life right. in the meantime? Right. And it was a challenge, but one of the extraordinary things was seeing him heal in that process, that right. even though he died, yeah. things in his psyche and soul were healed on the journey toward death and so that is possible yeah. and I also wanted people to learn how to live all the way through that process even through the very end of life. How old, how old was your husband? He was 52 yeah. when he, he was died. A young man, a very yes. young man. Yeah. Wow. That, that must have been hard to go through but you, 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 you develop a, a story and a book in honor of him, I guess, in, in passing, to help other people. Yes. Yeah. And, and this is your book right here. Yes, it is. As you can see, healing through holiness, living through dying. That's that's a great title. So, so is this your first novel or book? This is my first book. It's nonfiction. Yeah. It does include personal stories of my husband and also other people that I have helped. Mm -hmm. on their journey through this. So in a sense you're a healer. I guess we're all kind of healers. Aren't we're we? all healers. If we're all, if we're positive and look at life uh, positively, we can heal and help other people. Can't yes, you? absolutely. So, so where are people able to get your book? It's available on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I also have a website at healingthroughillness.com. Oh, healingthroughillness.com. The title is that. Okay. Are you a resident? I have been living in Cottonwood for the last year. Before that, I was in Scottsdale for yeah. six years and in California for 35 years before yeah. that. You're an old Californian too, huh? Yeah, yeah, I got out of there too. But anyway, thanks a lot, Cagnus, and I hope you have, have a good show here. And thank you for doing something positive for all of us. So thank you and thank you. have a good show. As you see, I'm in front of the camera, I have Carol Ann Roll, and that's where they pronounce it right? That's right, that's Carol. correct. And Carol, you're an author. How long have you been writing, Carol? This is my first book. Your first book? First book. I'm your buddy, True Story. That's kind of a nice title. It's kind of a cute bird. How is it a true story? Well, I've rescued birds for 29 years, uh -huh. and uh, God told me to write the book. Okay, Children that's... needed to learn to love themselves and accept themselves the way they are, uh -huh. even if they're a little different or they speak different. And I learned that through this bird, my last rescue, who is a plucker. He plucks all his feathers and looks oh. very different. Oh. And so, but he's full of joy. He yeah. loves himself. You still have him? Oh, God, yes. Oh. Yes. Until God takes them, I have them. Oh. You know, because they're not mine, they're God's. So, I always thought that was some ner nervous energy when birds do that. Yes, and they're taken from their parents too soon. Oh, really? That's what happens. Oh, yeah. That's a cute poster you have with so, the kids. So, the book is, the book is in a couple high school. Uh, grade schools in uh, New York and in Philadelphia. Wow. Uh, the teachers have put a part of their curriculum because there's many teachable lessons and they're emailing me the lessons that they also have found in the book for parents and for teachers mm -hmm. to teach their children to try new things, right. to make friends, to say thank you, to love yourself, to accept yourself, to be the best you can be. And this is all from the birds. Right. The birds teach you this. That's fantastic, Carol. And what about your, your, your award thing here? That sounds pretty yes. interesting. That's our Authors Association of Arizona, huh? Yes. Absolutely. It's one of the three finalists in the children's books in Arizona this year. And the winner will be announced the 4th of November. And we're very excited about it. And Pamela Becker is the illustrator of the book. And she's a famous artist here in Sedona. Oh, she was. And uh, her work is exquisite. She's been to my house and has taken 300 pictures of the birds. And then has captured their spirit. Oh, wow. So she's really fantastic. She's fantastic. Yeah, so. And they do dance. 
to the drum. They all sing, they all dance. My one bird, 41 years old. A talented bird, huh? Says four, for 500 words. 500 words? Chico says 500 words. Wow. And so, and Buddy's been to hospitals, and we've donated about 125 books to children's hospitals. Oh, that's great. And we'll continue to Saint do Saint so. St. Joseph and Phoenix? Ab yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And Ronald McDonald oh, and Phoenix and St. Jude, Shriners. So every book, every book that we sell, can, we can contribute more books. And also, Thank the you. Oasis Sanctuary. And Carol, before I let you go, do you have a website or a phone number you want to give out? Yes. Let me give my uh, web page. There's a lot of information on the web page. Wingsuppublishing.com. Wingsuppublishing.com. Okay. Wingsuppublishing.com. What about Amazon? Wingsup. Wingsup. Yes, we're on Amazon. Amazon yes, all the yes, we're on Amazon. And some local bookstores and at the Sedona Rouge <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks a lot for what you do, uh, Carol. Especially for the children, you know, they really need help today. There's a lot of negative stuff out there. Anyway, thanks a lot for your time and that you have a good show. Thank you. And you say I have J.C. Ernest in front of the camera. He's an author. How long have you been writing, J.C.? Well, I started about 10 years ago. About 10 years ago? Yeah, it was kind of on my bucket list to write. Oh, really? And I wanted to write stuff that my great-grandkids would uh, kind oh. of relate to. And oh, fantastic. So uh, that's kind of how I got started. Yeah, and that's a great story right there. I think it's something. So it's always been in your blood to be a writer. Then you, had, you did something about it, and you actually wrote some books. Yes, I did. The first step was showing up, and I yeah. wrote down that I'm going to write a novel someday. And Take this and, and hard work sometimes. Huh? But uh, in, in, in a nutshell, you, you've written what, three books? Yes, I've written three now. Okay. I was going to write one, but then I got the bug and I really enjoy writing, so I decided to turn it into two and then into three. Fantastic. And so, what, what are the stories on some of these books? Uh, well, um, the, the first book um, basically talks about uh, some of the current events as far as the, the fear that we have over terrorists, but it's an allegory. It's allegorical in a lot of ways because it talks about the human condition, you know. What, it, what does it look like to be a uh, greedy person? What does it look like to be haughty? And what does it look like to be humble and all those kind of things? So, uh, so, you know, some of the kind of simple things like uh, how do I respond to threats and and uh, yeah. and I deal with a lot of that kind of stuff. So is it, is it your target audience is youth? Pardon me? Your target audience is youth? Uh, I think there's a lot of it, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of youth in the book. Yeah. But yeah. your target audience is everybody. Yeah. Not seniors or not yeah. It's, uh, I think it's a spiritual book. I mean, spiritual? Uh, That's good. Uh, there's a lot of it in there. Yeah, a lot of it in there. In, your, in the titles of your book? Well, we have Night Stalkers, which is the first book, and then the second book is called Night Justice. Hmm. And the third book is called Bernardoni's Nights. And it's really, uh, each of them deals uh, pretty heavily with art topics and those kind of things also. Oh, really? yeah. Yeah. Nice covers. You had some good illustrators, huh? Well, actually, those are all my uh, my own personal work. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, those are pictures, basically, that oh. I've taken, and, uh, and I've modified them for the covers. Before I let you go, Dave, did you want to give out a website or phone number? Uh, sure. Uh, they can contact me at uh, Ann Clift, A N N C L I F T 000 at live.com. I've got time? Yeah. Well, thanks a lot and have a good show. All right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Is that loud enough? Now this is Richard Corey, Artwork of Sedona TV.com at the book fair in Cottonwood, Arizona Fairgrounds. I think it had a pretty good turn at the church. I did have a lot of authors there showing off their, their art and work, you know, in beautiful uh, Cottonwood, Arizona. This is Richard Corey. They also have something else going on, I guess, some kind of a tractor thing here going today at the fairgrounds. OutworldSedonaTV.com Create, create, create. God bless.